Welcome back to Minecraft, everybody. Episode 202. Hope you all enjoyed the la the troll I gave you last episode. And I said it wasn't going to go on, and it was going to go online. And I said it wasn't. So yes, I lied, and I'm sorry. But I don't think it hurt anybody. Because as you were watching, you're thinking to yourself, Sword, what are you talking about? I'm watching the video you said wouldn't go online. Also, the part about uh, keeping current with the updates... That's going to happen, kind of, but I really, really felt like playing Minecraft today, and with 15-minute episodes, I can make a lot of them. Um, so, I'm just going to record these for a while until I get tired. Oh, this is a mistake. What if there's nothing underneath me? Oh, there is. Never mind. thought I would fall to my death. Wouldn't be the first time. But yeah, new series, a season, new stuff to play with. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's great. Now, I know a lot of you were screaming about the dungeon I found in the last episode, or at least I think you did. I won't know it until I actually upload the video and check the comments, but I'm sure of it. Somebody, at least one person, said, Sor, why didn't you check out the dungeon? And that's a really, really bad way to ask that, even though, uh, you know, you might not sound like that. Uh, what am I doing? I want to do uh, the opposite. Because you, uh, you're you asking me to brave a zombie dungeon with my bare hands. And I'm sorry, but I just, just didn't feel like uh, facing that kind of death this time. So what are we doing? Well, we're on this, this plateau here, and I've got a really, really wild chunk error right here. It's hard to see from this angle. Let me see if I can build my way over to that. Oh, free coal. Yeah, I can't see it, but this is completely flat on the face of the thing, and it's got a huge, huge pit underneath it. And that pit is going to get explored. Hey, more coal. Awesome. Uh, but the thing is, I have to do a little preparations. I don't have any resources at all and I decided to set up camp on this plateau here because it's got a nice I got a nice vantage point here and I can uh, I can build a, a train station to go to various areas because it looks like this whole area is just rich with awesome uh, terrain and resources dungeons caves it's got it all and that's where we're gonna do it so, first things first, I need a shovel. I'm going to use two because I guarantee, guarantee, that I will not be able to get this first task done with just one shovel. A wooden shovel, that is. Uh, what, I'm, what I wanted to do was level off this part of the, uh, of the plateau here. And I'm going to reposition this dirt to just kind of make a squarish platform. And that'll be the foundation for the structure that will be the home base. So I'll just dig this out. And I'll have plenty of dirt to use for my doing. And before this, this episode is over, I will go get a sword. And I will check out that dungeon. Because, hey... I might get some iron, and then I can upgrade my tools really fast. I don't have to worry about uh, going and finding iron, even though you know I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we got the little overhang thing going here. Um, some of this has to go. If I want to make it an even square, or I should say rectangle. I can't guarantee a square right now, but I'll do a rectangle. Yep, there goes that shovel. Bye-bye, shovel. Okay. So, let's fill this in. Speed building! That means this has got to go. Oh, hey, snowball. Lots of snowballs to be had. <laughs> lots and lots and lots. Alright, so let's see how many blocks long this is. Looks like, uh, 12. Alright, 12 it is. Yeah, well, you know what? I can make it 13 so that I have a better doorway. Um, 
Or maybe I'll make a double door system. That could work. Oh, of course. Goodbye, workbench. See you later. You shouldn't want to come to the party. So let's see. We've got 13, or 12. Then we gotta go 6, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So it was gonna be out to here. That's fine. Whatever. But uh, because it's 12, these gotta go. I don't want to confuse myself. Done that before. Don't want to do it again. There. That uh, makes sense. And then I'll just fill in this area over here. So I might even have a mob spawner right underneath me. But of course I'm going to dig into this and make an exit point at the bottom. Because I think that'll be a pretty cool base. If I can use the, the landscape as part of the thing, then I will. Alright, so now I've got my foundation. Next step, go get that stupid workbench while avoiding the death that's over there. That's great too, because I can sit in a tower or something and just pick off the mobs with a bow and arrow. Maybe I'll make a, a water system to lead them right into the basement. I don't know. It'll be a good time though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I decided it's time to just focus on straight-up Minecraft commentary and not much else unless I want to announce something. Because, you know, with the Facebook and the Twitter and the blog and all that stuff, there's no reason for me to sit here and tell you about stuff that's going on with MGI. I'll just say, hey, check out the blog or the Facebook or the Twitter because it's all linked now. It's all in the descriptions. So, yeah, no reason to, <coughs> to not know. All right. And that's all I'm going to say about it. See that? I'm being a good boy. So the next move is to get uh, some wood. Like two blocks of it. Because this wood is going to create a sword and a pick. I'm sorry, just a sword. Which only means I needed one block of wood. I'm going to make the sword. I'm going to go over to that dungeon. We hope, the hope, is that we get uh, some iron ingots. That's the goal here. So, uh, wooden sword. Down you go. And I suppose I could have gone over there and dug out some uh, uh, stone. But, eh, what are you going to do? Let me go over here to my little makeshift platform. No, I can't even do that. I was going to try to get some coal make torches. But I'll just, I'll just make a bed. Oh, and fun fact, I don't know if anyone knows about this. Um, little tutorial here. Something I discovered uh, in a single player map. I don't know, it, it, you can, it's so easy to reconstruct this, but if you take, if you want a lot of mobs to spawn for you, like say you need mob items fast, you build a little area like this and you stick a bed down here and you only leave one square like this. Uh, I actually like to do this. Whoops. Bust this out. But when it's night time, you sleep in the bed and the mobs can't spawn next to you. There's not enough room, but they spawn right outside your door. And this happens over and over again. So what ends up happening is, and of course you're only going to get zombies and, and uh, skeletons, but you'll do it 10, 12 times before the daytime will actually come, and you get a ton of mob drops. Uh-oh. Looks like I spawned outside the house. That's not good. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I kind of failed there, but uh, you get the idea. Maybe if I try to do it this way. But yeah, this does work. I've, I've done it. Oh yeah, okay. Oh boy. I need a... Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Alright, so this is failing epically. And the reason it's because the one that I made in the other world, there was stuff behind me. So the only option I had for uh, unspawning, I guess you could say, was was uh, inside here. So I'm going to try it again. 
Yeah. Oh boy. Now where am I gonna spawn? I hope it's the bed. Your bed is missing or obstructed. Huh. Well, that stinks. Fortunately, I know the way. But being that it's nighttime, I'll probably be killed getting there. And this is not new. You've seen me do this before. That's what I was trying to avoid. But I should have just gone in my other temporary home. But it isn't actually that far from where I started. So we're good on that. There were no torches, though, so that's going to kind of make it tough to see. But hey, MGI is all about fun and discovery. Nice, uh, tell you what I'll do while I'm out here. Since I didn't really have anything important on me, grab a couple of cactus. Make a cactus farm. Back at the new base. Oh my, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the floater. Yeah, see, we're right over here. No biggie. Maybe I'll take some, some red flowers with me too. So that I can create some red carpeting. Or wallpaper. I might actually do some interior decorating this time and make a really, really cool base that's uh, multifunctional. I think that would be a good idea. Is that light down there? Yeah, because that was the lava fall, wasn't it? Oh, it's just sand. Never mind! Okay. I'm so glad that Minecraft is finally running perfect for me. It's nice and smooth. Oh yeah. And if I put good quality on, you get interlacing in between the frames, so it looks really, really nice. Looks smixy. It looks like, since I don't have any torches out either, that uh, the mobs can't find me, because everything is dark, not just the overhang spots. And I'm okay with that. The less mobs we get out here tonight, the better, because I am extremely unprepared for this. Whoa. Wrong way. There's some coal right there. Yeah, there's a lot of resources around here. A lot of, a lot of opportunity. Grab these yellows while we're at it. Why not? Why not? Okay, am I off course? No. Nope, I'm just a little, little to the left of where I was. Is my? Oh boy. Yeah. See, now we got problems. Oh my. What's this? use this to my advantage. Come get a creeper. There you go. You failed. Wow. You can see where the cave gutted right through the landscape. And then we've got all of this stuff going on. <laughs> Maybe we'll, oh no, and I just <coughs> screwed up. Scary stuff, man. Oh, there's probably clay over on that beach. I think I've gone a little too far here. I think I've passed where I was. So I gotta get up this little hill here and uh, retrace my steps. Gotta go around this way. If I hadn't run into that creeper, I'd have been right on target. But I did run into that creeper, so I'm not on target. Yeah, it's back this way. Oh, gotta watch where I'm going. Huh. I need a compass, man. Gotta get some redstone. Oh, hey, overhang. Yeah, I expect their mobs to be there. Or there could be mobs there. Wait, did I get spun around here? I can't tell. My skeleton wants it. Oh boy, creeper. I should have had that skeleton hit him. Yeah! Boom! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Although I wish I'd have had him kill that creeper so I could try to get records. Because they're just so nice for collector item, collection items. Collector's items. I said what I said. Woo. Yeah, now they're out to get me, man. Now we're in trouble. We can't stay still in these parts. But we're going to have to continue this in the next episode because time's up. Isn't it so exciting now? <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, because i got to find out where the heck I am and how to get there. So, I'll see you in the next episode. And thank you for watching. We're going to pick right up where we left off.